Hello! It is me, the low quality hoodie boy. And today I will be doing a comic page. I haven't done one of these in a while, although my job job is to make graphic novels. So I usually do end up doing a lot of them for other people, but I almost never get the chance to do one or two for myself. I do work on my webtoon and other things, but outside of those projects, I don't really get to do as many comics as I used to anymore. And a while ago, I had like this itch, you know, to do a comic page because uh, I remembered I pulled out a bunch of stuff from somewhere in my cupboard and so around those old things I did on a paper and uh, I thought I wanted to do one again so I thought I'd record the process so I could just show you people see this is where it would have been perfect to put a jump scare in but no I, I am mature now I have grown up I, I won't be doing any jump scares anymore ever I would like to issue a public apology <laughs> <laughs> also, if you know where that's from, we vibe. You're a real one. <laughs> now let's actually get started. I met a boy so, when I don't have a script or a guideline to do a comic, for example, when I'm doing this, like when I'm doing something for my own personal. Uh, satisfaction I usually try to like go for a thing that emotionally resonates with me for example this scene is something I took out of my own life something I really remember this memory is something I exactly remember and I know a lot of artists might be able to uh, relate to something similar like this and I didn't really need a reference for it before because of that and what I started to do firstly is, is similar to what I do to my all my comic slash graphic novel slash webtoon projects which is make a thumbnail and like make a few thumbnails actually and sketch out or just plan where the panels are going to be. And because I'm working on Clip Studio Paint for this one, I actually thought I might uh, people who are watching this you you might uh, benefit from me actually talking about what the paneling in clip studio paint is like clip studio paint is a software made specifically for comics and manga and like animation and stuff so unlike something like photoshop which is made for everything like uh, editing um, photos and stuff and also doing uh, any sort of art related thing you want to because of the brush support uh, Clip Studio Paint is made for art and animation and comics very specifically so it has a few features that software like Photoshop do not um, so let's go about them because they are quite uh, helpful when making any sort of comic on Clip Studio you can either use them or ignore them but they will definitely make your life a lot easier so first of all, I sh will be talking about the framing tool. This is a tool essentially that allows you to create a comic frame and unlike other software when you draw like a rectangle and want to draw the panel inside it, uh, this tool, the paneling tool or the framing tool, whatever you want to call it, is going to create a folder with uh, the, the, the rectangle or shape you drew and outside of it will be masked off as long as you're in the folder and that essentially acts as pretty much like a barrier from you, your panel versus the rest of the page so you can keep it consistent and not draw outside accidentally that's what it helps with the most uh, the limitations of it are basically it can be a little bit annoying sometimes to get the exact shape you want especially if you're working on a uh, create you paneling or overlapping or like non paneling paneling which some artists do with uh, their more action heavy comic stuff um, it might be a little difficult to do if, that, if that's what you're going for but for my example here it was fine so I just used the thing 
So as you can see in the layers panel, you can find folders which each each have like a masking thing on clip to it and they have a base color and a layer inside them which is where you can create as many layers as you want for that particular panel and you can draw add shadows pretty much finish an entire panel within that uh, folder and makes it super easy to uh, manage them essentially and if you're working for a client or you're going to send it out to someone uh, it might be more helpful with them because even if you convert the clips studio dot clip file to a dot uh, psd file to be opened in photoshop or any other software like that it'll still like retain the same folders it just won't have as much control because inside the clip studio thing you can still like change the shape of the panel but if you convert it into like a photoshop file you can't really change the shape of it easily but uh you can still use the panel as a folder for organizing so that might be helpful for you if you're using uh, this to pretty much give it to someone else other than yourself who needs to like open and tinker with your layers and stuff so yeah that, that's a really helpful tool uh the other tool i want you to talk about is the the call out tool it is i think it's called the call out tool or the speech balloon tool or so you could call it uh i'm not using any speech balloons for this Surprisingly, even though it's a comic, I, I didn't really need to use any speech balloons because I put the text everywhere instead of... I just, it's just a creative decision honestly for this thing. But uh, if you are using speech balloons, which you most probably are if you're using uh, making comics on any software, uh, Clip Studio has a default... not default... It, it, it has this by default, but you can also download different uh, balloons that artists have made and put on the Clip Studio assets still for free uh with if you obviously bought clip studio you can have the assets too as well um uh, we can basically also draw freehand uh, call out things they work very similarly to the the way i described the paneling tool or the framing tool uh very similar because uh what what the call out thing does is basically creates a speech bubble and inside the speech bubble you can type or draw or whatever thing you want to in whatever font you want to because it also has a text tool in it and uh, you can uh, basically shape reshape uh, change sizes do whatever you want to the pan the, the call out thing itself like the speech bubble itself and that makes it super helpful when you're making uh, a comic with a lot of dialogue or which are probably most comics honestly with a lot of dialogue or uh, just in general uh, any sort of like narration or whatever it has all shapes and sizes of speech bubbles and narration bubbles and narration boxes and stuff so yeah clip studio paint overall is like i, I know i've been just talking about clip studio paint instead of talking about what i'm drawing uh, that's because I, I i don't think the thing i'm drawing is very like complex to understand i'm sure you're all all very like easily understanding what i'm doing um so yeah basically just i didn't uh there's there's not much to talk about in that regard essentially so yeah so the paneling tool and the speech bubble tool are the two cool things about clip studio paint that make it easier to make comics other than uh having cool brushes and stuff which oh to be fair other software also have so clip studio is very specialized for comics in the sense that it has a paneling tool and a call out too so those are the two main cool things about clip studio there are other ones as well i'll do a clip studio tutorial at some point because i've been using it forever and i pay them so yeah i'll do i'll do a tutorial on it soon soonish i don't know yeah so now that i've talked about the two of those i'm pretty much running out uh, of time as well as things to talk about so here you can actually see I might yeah look at me guys I'm actually commenting on the drawing I I'm just putting text everywhere because I honestly didn't think speech bubbles were necessary for this because I'm not really talking to anybody or really thinking anything it's just like a very nebulous thing so yes I think we are done with this drawing 
of a comic page. I hope you enjoyed it and wait, let's wait till the slow transition ends. I don't, I don't know why it's this slow. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I will see you guys soon and I hope you enjoyed this. I've been telling, saying that twice or three times. I, I don't know. I've been trying to cut myself off less. Like I've been trying to be less edited with the audio. But like let's see what happens. Uh, if I sound terrible. None of you will hear any of this. Blah 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 blah. blah. Anyway. Goodbye. Later. Soon. I, I don't know. What do I normally say? Sometimes I do. Cause sometimes I drive. All of the streets we used to. First Avenue Cause sometimes I